there are a lot of reproductive endocrine centers in the United States, but I wanted to talk about a few of the things that I think makes us unique. For example, um, I told you that a lot of doctors automatically give people clomiphene citrate. Um, now, if you have a, uh, a problem where a woman is not getting her menstrual period or gets it very infrequently, then it's pretty obvious that she's not ovulating, and that's what these drugs do. These drugs help a woman who is not ovulating to now ovulate. But, and there are some instances, as I'm going to describe, where a woman who does have regular menstrual periods could benefit from these drugs. But yet, there are many women who have infertility, who have regular menstrual periods, who already make a mature, what we call a follicle on their own. That's the dominant egg that comes out each month. And it sits in a sac that we call a follicle. And that it's all, that's what these drugs do. They help you to mature the follicle and that they're already making it. But can, are they detrimental? I have evidence that it is, that they can be in that circumstance. So I've now been at Robert Wood Johnson Medical School um, for um, 20 years. But before that, I was at Thomas Jefferson University. And back in the 80s, when I did this study, I was at Jefferson. And what we did was we took women who had one year of infertility at minimum, and then we determined what percentage of them who showed by a biopsy that they weren't making enough progesterone, what percent seem to make a mature follicle and what percent do not. And it turned out that 58 of the 100 women already made a mature follicle. But one of the arguments could be, well, maybe it's mature for the statistically average woman, but it's not mature for that particular person. Or some people think that, well, I'm only making one egg. How many eggs does a person normally make? Just one. So if you're not getting pregnant after many cycles with one egg being produced, what magic would there be if you make multiple eggs? How's that going to help you to get pregnant? But anyhow, let's look at the data. What we found was in 31 of those 58 women who made mature follicles had at least a year's worth of infertility but were shown by a certain test that they were lacking in progesterone that when we gave them just progesterone, which makes sense, how do you treat a progesterone problem? Treat them with extra progesterone. It sounds simple, but most people don't do that. And yet, in that study, 24 out of 31 women, or 77%, achieved the pregnancy within six months with just intercourse, no IUIs needed. But the women, and there was only one of those 24 women that had a miscarriage. But of the women who took the fertility drug, and, and in this case, one of the drug, the drug Clomid was originally intended to be a birth control pill aimed at ruining the mucus of a woman's cervix to prevent the sperm from getting up, so to prevent a barrier type of contraceptive. So in the middle of the cycle, at the mouth of the womb, there, the, the, um, there's a liquid that thins out that allows the sperm to swim. And that it was originally thought that we could interfere with that, but then it turned out that it wasn't effective in everybody, a fair number, but not everybody. And some people who hadn't had their periods in a long time were starting to ovulate, so they discovered by accident that we might have ourselves a better fertility drug than we have a contraceptive. But it still leaves that person with a side effect frequently of bad mucus. Now, you can overcome it by doing an intrauterine insemination, but that means that both of you have to take off time from work, you have to maybe travel several times. If your insurance doesn't cover it, it's not nearly as expensive as in vitro fertilization. But it adds up, whether it's $250, whether it's $500, depending on which center you're going to. I know one center charges $2,000 for this very simple procedure that takes only less than 30 seconds to perform. Um, but nevertheless, it's even if your insurance covers it, it requires time. But the point is that I didn't want someone to argue that I wasn't timing it right. So for the study, if the postcoital test was poor with the clomiphene, they were switched to the injectable drug. So everybody for the study had to demonstrate sperm swimming in the mucus at the right time. Now, in that group that took the ovulation-inducing drug, 27 women, only three got pregnant in that group. And two of the three had a miscarriage. 
yet during the next six months taking 25 women who failed on the fertility drug during the first six months and now putting them on progesterone, 16 of those 25 women conceived and only one had a miscarriage. So, why would doctors not realize that, you say? That makes no sense. It's because of the other group. In the 42 women who did not quite get to a mature follicle, it was close, but not quite. They didn't reach the right criteria. There, the drug did work because it matured the follicle. And 7 out of 10 women got pregnant, but if they didn't take supplemental progesterone, four of the seven got pregnant. On the other hand, in 20 women that took the combination of fertility drug and progesterone, 14 of 20 got pregnant and one had a miscarriage. So you might say, well, my doctor, he does both. He puts me both on the fertility drug or she puts me on the fertility drug and adds the progesterone. So would you say that that's okay? Personally, no because you take a Hippocratic Oath to do no harm, and by using those drugs, one, you can create multiple eggs, which you might think is good when you're frustrated of having trouble getting pregnant, saying, I'll do anything to get pregnant, but you wouldn't be so thrilled if you wind up with multiple births and they wind up delivering so early that either they, they die or they have some complication that makes your child not so normal. Then it wouldn't be as exciting. And you take a Hippocratic Oath to do no harm, and one of the things of harm is to create multiple births. So if one allows one to just develop their one dominant follicle, that makes things a lot safer. Um, so that's one side effect. 